What's up everybody, Raccoon here from RaccoonsCorner.com In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Hootsuite Lite for Android Let me uh, go ahead and unlock my phone here And that's my text messaging, don't want to show that, so I'll just press back And uh, as you can see, there's the Hootsuite icon Gonna go ahead and uh, open that up. When you first load it up, this is what you will see. You will see a clean interface, which will help you a lot. Now I can't. I'm having a hard time deciding if this is more organized than Twitter for Android or not. I think it might be because you have to select the buttons and they're not all in one row like this. So, besides the point, let's go ahead and open up my home feed here. And uh, this is what my home feed looks like, as you can see. Got my tweets all in here. Chris Perillo and so. And so. And if you want to create a new tweet, you're just going to have to click that button in that corner there and write it. Which I'm not going to do a test tweet now. And click cancel. Go back to streams. Now, let's go ahead and look at your settings. So press the menu button, settings. So there's settings, manage account, manage tabs and streams, upgrade the full version, tweet the love, which is basically just how saying that um, I'm using this and that, so you should sign up. Feedback, launch welcome wizard. Now let's go into the settings. Notification interval. I set, have mine set to every 30 minutes. You can change it to five, oh, 5 to 6 hours or never. Cancel there. You can change the ringtone when you get a new tweet, which I'm not going to play any of them. You can make it vibrate. You can make it make Hootsuite start up when you turn on your Android phone. Open up links in Hootsuite, which could come in handy, which I have mine set to by default. Go back back manage accounts you can add a new account which I'm not gonna do back back manage tabs and streams click one of them you can switch the position like I could have that up there which I want this to be my home feed you can also change the uh, names of it if you click on manage tabs down here which click it and then I can name it whatever I want to name it which I'm just gonna leave all this default overall I like this it's a pretty good uh, Twitter client that's and you can upgrade to the full version and uh, let me just show you what the Twitter for Android looks like I'm gonna be reviewing that later on Hold on a second here. Okay. This is what our, the interface I was talking about. Kind of split down the middle equally though. I like having it all in one row. But this might work for most people as well. Click on tweets. And that's what this looks like. They're basically equal. But if you want to uh, know which, which um, one... I like better. It's a tough choice. I'm not sure. It's user preference. You can either choose this one or the other one. I'm going to be reviewing this one later, hopefully, maybe, most likely. Um, that's basically it for this review. You can visit my blog, raccoonscorner.com. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash raccoontech. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Android reviews, product reviews, software reviews, unboxings, etc., etc. Catch you guys later. Peace.